Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick, easy tutorial on how you can use ENS Vision to search for and buy and sell ENS or .eth domain names. So for starters, you're gonna to want to navigate to the ENS.vision app. Then you're gonna to want to connect your Web3 wallet. In my case, I'm using MetaMask, but you could use whichever Web3 wallet you want. Now this is what the homepage looks like. And the reason why I like the ENS Vision app over the official ENS application is that in my opinion, the ENS app is useful if you know exactly what you're looking for, but if you're trying to discover or trade or take advantage of different metrics, then the ENS Vision, as it says here, unleashes the market. It really gives you a ton of additional options to search for different domain names and to figure out what you want to buy to do research and to see what other people are doing as well. So let's dig into that. Now I'm assuming here you already understand why you might want to have a .eth or an ENS domain name. So I'm not going to talk about that here. But once you understand the value of these domain names, then how do you go about actually finding one that is going to be valuable? Because there's millions of these that have been registered. A lot of them will probably never actually be worth anything but some certainly will and it's still possible especially now in the middle of a bear market to find gems that are undervalued or being overlooked that you can actually buy now maybe hold for a little while until there's another bull market and then profit from so how do you discover domain names. Well, for starters, on the home page, this is a useful tool because you can see the top categories. These are the different types of ENS domains that have been the most traded over the last seven days, and you can adjust to 24 hours or to 30 days as well. So let's look at 30 days top categories. The 10K Club, which is number one, is obviously one of the most popular domain categories, and it's just four number ENS domains. Now, if we look at the price chart of this, and again, this is why I love ENS Vision, is because you get all these additional metrics that you don't get on the ENS app. So we can see over the last six months that the price of these four digit ENS domains has gone down from about 0.7 ETH to 0.27 ETH. So the floor currently for the cheapest one is 0.2749 ETH. And the value proposition on these is that each 10,000 picture profile pick collection of NFTs is associated with a number. And also there's only 10,000 of them. That's why it's called the 10K Club. So there's that scarcity built in. So owning one of these four digit ENS domains is a status symbol, but also possibly could be useful in the future of Web3 in ways that we don't even understand yet. And so buying one of these is certainly a speculative play. Although previously about a year and a half ago, the floor price of these things was above two ETH. And so really things do move with the market. And if we do hit another bull run, the reason why you might want one of these is because the 10K club is probably going to do well. If any ENS category is gonna do well. And so it could easily go back up above one ETH or two ETH if, and it's a big if, we hit another bull run soon. Now the issue with having a four digit ENS domain is that the renewal costs are higher. So the yearly cost for these domain names, if they're five characters or longer, is only $5 per year. But if they're four characters, it's $160 per year, which is a pretty significant carrying cost. Every year that you hold this, you have to pay $160 to keep it. And then the three character names are even more expensive at $640 per year. And the reason why there's these large fees for these ENS domains is because the three and four character domains are much more scarce and also to prevent people from squatting on them forever in perpetuity. You buy them once and then they're stuck in someone's wallet forever. Well, no, because they're so expensive to maintain and to hold over time, you really only can justify doing it if you personally like the ENS domain or if you think that in the future, it's actually going to go up in value. So with these four digit domains, you do have to be careful because the carrying cost of $160 is going to come out of your profit. Let's say you buy it now, you have to hold it for one year until the next bull market. Well, then you better hope that you're selling it for more than 160 above what you paid for it. Otherwise you're losing money on the transaction. Of course, if the prices of these go back up to one or two ETH per domain, then you're gonna be laughing. But if it doesn't, then this is potentially a losing venture. So you have to really assess the risk and assess which category of ENS domain you want to buy. Now, in terms of some useful features of the actual ENS Vision app or website, you can sweep a collection, which is great if you wanted to say buy like 10 of these things, you could just add 10 to your cart and it would buy the 10 cheapest ones for you. You can make a collection offer. So 
let's say you didn't care which one you were going to get, but you had a set price in mind. Well, you could set an offer of say 0.2 wrapped ETH. And then if anyone that owns one of these domains accepts your offer, you'll get that. So you're offering for any domain in the entire collection. And then there's some additional stats and metrics up here that are useful to see. You can see the floor price, the top sale. So 41 ETH was the top sale. And if we click here, we can see which one it was. 7055.eth sold for 40 ETH at some point, which honestly seems crazy because it's not really a great number. Usually numbers that start with a zero or a one or are all the same, like one, 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 one. Those would go a lot higher than something like 7055. So maybe that was a wash trade, not sure. Anyways, other categories of information, you can see how many people own this NFT collection. So 3,380 distinct wallets have this NFT in them. So that's something like a 33% diversity, which is a little bit on the low side. The higher it is, the better, usually because it means there's more people in it and a less concentration of domains in any single wallet's hands. Then you can see out of the total collection of 10,000, 9,977 have been minted. So that probably means some of them expired. And if we look here on the left-hand side, this is where we can filter. So if we could look at the ones that are for sale or not for sale. And then in the status category, we can see which ones are in grace period, for example. So these ones are all ones that are expiring soon. And then we can also see which ones are in the premium period. And these are the ones that have expired. And if you know about ENS domains, when one of them expires, then it goes into something called the premium registration period, where day one of expiry, you have to pay $100 million to register it. But then every subsequent 24 hours, the amount you have to pay goes down by 50%. So the next day you could get it for 50 mil, then 25 mil, et cetera, et cetera, until eventually it reaches a point where it goes to zero. I think after... 21 days, if I'm not mistaken, it gets to zero. Anyways, you can track the progress of these premium registration periods and see, you know, if I wanted to register 3017.eth now, I'd have to pay 15 mil for it. But if I want to register 4992.eth, I'd have to pay 15,000 for it. Anyways, you can wait for these as they go through the premium registration period until it hits the point where somebody is willing to pay that price and register it and then it's back in the collection. And so that's why currently there's only 9,977 of these minted because there's a few of them that have expired and are in that premium phase. Anyways, let's go back to all. Now there's other things that you could search for. Let's say if you wanted to search for one that had a minimum value of one ETH, you could do that. Or a maximum value of one ETH, then you could do that. So there's different ways that you can sort through and filter a collection to find an ENS domain that you actually like. If you don't just want to buy, for example, the, the floor one. Other useful pieces of information you can see are, for example, the 24 hour volume, in this case 0.27 ETH. So likely that means only one of these domains was sold in the last 24 hours. But the total volume is almost 45,000 ETH, which at this point is millions of dollars for sure. We can see active collection offers here. So these are all people that have an open bid out and are willing to buy at a certain price. You can see activity. And this is where we'll see all of the sales. So that one sale that I was referring to happened 19 hours ago when somebody bought 9614.eth. But you can see all the sales going back to the beginning of this collection's history. So if you're interested in digging through the data to see what other people are paying for these, then you can see that here. And I would say the one good thing about this category, uh, the 10K Club, is that there's a lot more liquidity than there are for some other categories of VNS domains. It's one of the more illiquid types of NFTs, unless you're buying into something like the 10K Club or the 999 Club. Because let's go back to the, the beginning here and say you're thinking about buying something very, very specific, like spicymeatballs.eth. Well, that is really an ENS domain that would have to appeal to a very specific type of person, especially at a price of one ETH. And so it could be difficult to find liquidity for domains like that. So obviously liquidity is one of the major concerns when buying domain names. And unless you have a great domain in mind that has never yet been registered, it's probably better in most cases to stick to some of the categories that have higher liquidity because you'll have a much higher chance of actually being able to sell it at some point in the future. So for example, five letter dictionary, if I click on this category, these are 
literally words from the dictionary that are five letters, and you can see that there's lots of them. Now, the benefit of this is that it's only gonna cost you $5 per year to hold this on the books because the registration fee for five digits or letters or higher is only $5 per year. But the floor on these is a lot cheaper than the floor on the 10K collection. You can see that I could buy swigs.eth for 0.025 ETH. And some of these could actually be worth something in the future, especially if there's another bull run or if a lot of companies begin building applications that are based on the Ethereum blockchain and want to have .eth domain names. Well, simple five letter words could actually be worth a lot of money in that situation. For example, I don't know, bales.eth for 0.08 ETH. Well, if there's some farmer that's starting up a company uh, you know, selling hay bales, maybe they would want somebody to own bales.eth, who knows? Maybe that's a bad example, but the point is you can scroll through all of these and you can sort by various different factors to find names that are actually potentially valuable and are in a category that could have higher liquidity. Now, another really good one to focus on would be names. And up here, you can see a couple categories, female first names or male first names. And these are the type of NFTs that could be worth a lot of money if the right person comes along that wants to buy their first name. And you can see that the top sale was actually 100 ETH for Sam.eth. So if you buy the right name and that person actually is a crypto millionaire, then they might come around one day and want to buy their .eth for the right price. Now the floor names in this case will be, you know, less common and the more expensive names will be some of the most common names in the world. So if we sort by price and then sort high to low. So for example, Jesus.eth, it's currently listed for 888 ETH. It's probably not gonna sell for that amount, but it could sell for a lot because that's a very popular name for reasons I'm sure you're aware. Now, another fun category that I've used to find domains that I think actually could be worth something in the future is to look at the pre-punk club. So if you don't know, this is ENS domains that were registered before the creation of the CryptoPunk NFT collection. So these are all old domains and they were registered a long time ago. But you can see that the floor on these is very low, so you can buy some of these for quite cheap, but some of them are actually interesting domains. So for example, capitaltokens.eth, you could buy right now for 0.0037 ETH. And who knows, that is potentially an interesting domain. Maybe someday someone comes along that wants to create a business called capitaltokens.eth and they're gonna need their .eth domain. And so well, I've spent actually a decent amount of time scrolling through the pre-punk club and actually picking up a couple domains that I thought were undervalued. You know, cyberpirate.eth, who knows? Maybe that'll be worth something someday. Now, another way that you can look at this globally is to just hit on the marketplace tab up here and you can see the entire list of all the top categories. And I recommend scrolling through this, finding a category that interests you or maybe that you have an edge in because you know something that other people don't. So if you speak a foreign language, for example, uh, you know, something like Korean or Japanese domains, who knows, maybe you can find something that's undervalued currently that could be worth something in the future. The expiring now tab also is interesting because you can scroll through numbers or names that are going to expire or recently expired, and they could be worth a lot of money in the future because at this point in the bear market cycle, a lot of people have lost interest, maybe even forgot that they had some of these, and things could be expiring right now that maybe they shouldn't be. So for example, Barrett's.eth, I don't know, maybe that's a last name or something, maybe that's worth something. And I think actually that the top categories tab and the expiring now tab are the best ways that you should look for domains to find something that you want to buy. Now, once you've found a domain that you wanna buy, let's talk about the different tools that you can use to actually purchase it. So I'm gonna purchase two of these ENS domains here today to show you a couple of the different ways. For starters, in the expiring now category, I found this domain, inoculate.eth. And short, simple, especially single word ENS domains like this that are universally recognizable are the type that are potentially valuable. So for that price, I think that's a good pickup. I also found this one in the expiring now category, which is defijobs.eth. It's not quite as good in my opinion, so I'm not sure if the value or the liquidity would be there for this one at any point in the future, but you know, it's a potential. It's got potential for sure. And at a premium price of $2 plus the $5 registration fee, because it's uh, much longer than five characters, 
you know, that's maybe a good pickup as well. But I'm not gonna get DeFi jobs. I'm only going to get inoculate.eth today. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. Since this is expired, you can't actually buy it from someone. So you have to register it. I can add it to a bulk reg, which means if I found a bunch that I want to register, for example, inoculate and DeFi jobs, then you can see up here, it basically adds them to my cart. And if I refresh the page, it should have both in there. Oh, maybe it didn't register this one. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, I can register both of these at the same time and save a little bit of money on gas fees, which is a really nice feature of ENS Vision. I'm not gonna get both though. I'm only going to get inoculate.eth. Now, the bulk registration tool is how you register directly through ENS Vision, or you can hit this button, register on ENS, and it's gonna open up the ENS app where you register it directly through the Ethereum naming service. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to use ENS Vision over the actual ENS app. And one of the main ones is that, you know, it's got so much extra functionality built into it. And since you're already on it, you know, it, you're good to go. Also, if you're doing a bulk reg, you could save money on gas fees. And finally, there might potentially be an airdrop at some point in the future absolutely not confirmed total speculation but you never know because ens vision is a relatively new protocol they don't currently have a, a token and ens the actual protocol does have a token so you won't get an airdrop for doing it there so there's just enough benefits to maybe add up to wanting to do it through the ens vision app so i'm going to register inoculate.eth going to open up my registration tool i'm going to register it for let's say only one year and I'm going to request to register. And with this process, you're gonna to have to confirm a couple transactions in your MetaMask wallet, which is gonna cost money. So you can see my first transaction, $1.83 in gas. So you're gonna to have to pay for that, wait for it to confirm that no one else is trying to register at the exact same time, and then I can complete the registration. Now, while that's going through, let me take you back to this category here, which is the pre-punk club, and show you something that I've found, which could be valuable in the future. So this right here, sungho.eth. I Googled it and it's a Korean name, a Korean first name. So in Korea, the family name comes first and the given name comes second. So Sungho is actually a Korean name. So you never know. Something like this could be worth money someday. And currently it's on sale for basically nothing. So if I wanted to purchase this for $6, then this is what it would look like. I could buy it now, I could add it to the cart, or I could buy it with a card so this is an interesting feature on ENS Vision that you don't get on the ENS app. You can buy directly with a credit card if you're interested in doing that. I'm not interested in doing that and I'm not actually gonna purchase this one today, but I'm just showing you how you could purchase one if you weren't getting it from the expiring now category. This is how you do it. You could hit buy now and then just confirm the transaction in your Web3 wallet, in this case, MetaMask, but I'm gonna reject that for now. Okay, going back to inoculate.eth. I waited for one minute. No one else is trying to register this so I can confirm or complete my registration. So let's go ahead and do that. MetaMask is gonna pop up and you can see that the estimated gas fee for this transaction, the second one is more expensive, but let's go ahead and confirm that. And soon I will be the proud owner of inoculate.eth. And honestly, I think that this is a really great pickup. I highly, highly recommend people to go through this category once in a while if you're interested in ENS domains, the expiring now category especially at this point in the market cycle where everything's down, people have forgotten that they even had these things, forgot to pay the registration fees on them, and they're letting things slip that could someday be worth something. Eddard Stark, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, like you can get that right now for $1.40. You never know what you can find here. Okay, one name successfully registered. So let's close the cart and go to my profile here, and we'll check it out. So here you can see, I am now the proud owner of inoculate.eth. Now, let's say I wanted to sell this domain. What would I do? Well, you could click on it and you can click list now and then you can set whatever price you want. So let's say I want to get 10 ETH for it. You can choose how long you want the listing to be live up from one hour all the way to six months. And then you confirm the transaction. The marketplace fee is 1.5%. So if I sold this for 10 ETH, then I would get 9.85 and ENS Vision would get 0.15. And that is how it works. That's how you buy and sell .eth or ENS domain names on ENS Vision, but also how you search 
do research and potentially find things that are undervalued, which I literally just did while recording this video. And honestly, I think if we hit another bull market, clean single English word domains like this, who knows? Could be worth something. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and have yourself a great day.